What would you like to see change? I would like to see a serious attempt by South Africans at examining structures such as that and coming up with something that allows people to live freely, independently, decently, and not be hobbled by things that are harmful even because they are labeled tradition. I will take the example of Ukutwala, the carrying away of a maiden to be made a wife. It may have worked at some point. I don't think it works. In fact, I know it doesn't work now. You know, people like uh, my late mother and her mother before her, that generation of African women, as women, you, you know, ages ago, el as elsewhere too, were raised with one expectation. A girl child was born, raised to become a wife. That's it. Yeah. We're not raising girls to become wives only now. There is a broader, uh, 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 you know, world for, for, girl, for the girl child. She, she has the right to make choices about her life. And where a young man may have carried a hundred years ago a girl to make a wife, this may not have been the man she would have chosen. But on the other hand, this is all she was looking forward to. This is all that was within her ken as, as, a, as a, a young woman, that she would be a wife. And sometimes the parents chose the husband, or parents talked, and the young people got, you know, got to be husband and wife. So there was not that much choice, and there was definitely nothing else in her head that she could say she was looking forward to. Yeah. It's not right now. Young women are still being carried away at 14, 16. That child has the rest of her life to look forward to. She has the right to make choices. It's her life. And there, there has come crept in an indecency of old men in their 70s and 80s taking teenagers, people in, the, in, the, in their early 20s. This is somebody young enough to be a flipping, excuse my friend, grandchild. Mm. The intergenerational sex thing is wrong. I think many of us would agree with you when you say that. We were just speaking about, about your book launch and the fact that it was packed there. When you share these ideas with people mm. and, and you speak so passionately about mm. them, what kind of reaction do you get? Most people agree with me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and others will say, you know, I never thought of it that way. But this is the whole point of, ri of writing, to provoke debate, to provoke debate. If you haven't thought about it, maybe you should. If we haven't spoken about it, maybe we. What is custom? What is tradition? And which of the traditions that we have inherited from the past are worthy of preservation, are worthy of being kept? Which should we chuck off and away, bury them, burn them, whatever? Which tradition should go down? Have you had people say that that's quite a controversial thing to say? Some say that, mm -hmm. and others agree. There are, you know, Mm -hmm. But with debate, we can come to sanity. Yeah. A child should be raised and nurtured to explore what's inside her, if she's a girl, if it's a girl child, or him if it's a boy. Children should live free of fear. No 14-year-old, 16-year-old should be walking to school bothered that some man old, older than her father might carry her off and away. It's, it's, it's criminal. It should be criminal. It is criminal. And I think such men should, should, should be brought before the law. And you can't say, I mean, these children are carried off by men who have had wives, who have had young life, young love. Mm. And they're depriving these children of that. And some of them are already HIV positive and now they want another wife, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's not right.